Hey YouTubers, I want to give a quick shout out to Deadpoozilla, who is the inspiration for this video somewhat. This came about when an idea hit my head. What would happen if Doctor Who crossed over with Ed and Eddie? This is the Ed... The Edadox contingency. And I want to play, I don't know, maybe the Jawbreaker Paradox, something like that. Uh, but anyways... Uh, basically, the way this kind of video goes is I'm just giving my ideas for a plot. If someone wants to do it to write a story, then I use it for a story or a springboard, go ahead. I'm just throwing my ideas out there. Anyway, the way this story would start, this would be long before the events of the last of the last movie, Fred and Eddie. So we still have the real concept. It's summer. Um, Ed and Double D, or Double D and Eddie just got back from a trip. Um, they went on a family vacation with their parents for about two weeks. Well, during that time, Ed had gotten a big package from his cousin who lived in England. And in this package were Doctor Who stuff, because his um, cousin, insert name here, is a huge Whovian. So, I mean, there's comics, there's novels, there's model kits, because we know how, you know, Ed loves his model kits. And there's DVDs, uh, he got American versions of them, so his cousin could watch them, which I thought, which I think is good. So, when Double D and Ed, and Eddie, sorry, when Double D and Eddie goes to visit them, they're shocked to see Ed's room is clean. There's no gravy in the bathtub. And it, uh... You see that um, Ed is sitting in the corner, actually reading a book uh, while music plays because um, that would be Doctor Who soundtrack. And uh, the book he's reading would be uh, knowing. I would go for. I would say just because of his love of B movie horror, I would go with this one, Doctor Who and the Crawling Terror. That doesn't sound like an Ed book. I don't know what does. Radioactive monsters, time travel. It's a B-movie in the making, Eddie. Uh, but anyways, and I see that Ed is dressed in immaculate clothes. He's basically cosplaying as um, the Fifth Doctor, complete with the um, sprig of celery. Uh, he closes the book, puts a bookmark in, puts it on the shelf. And you see he's got a shelf of Doctor Who books and comics. And it's all neatly organized. And Double D is like, I am speechless. And he goes, for once, I agree with some kid. And then Ed's talking all cultured and stuff. And Fury between the moments is, he's glad that his companions have returned safe and unharmed. And all this, and all this time, Eddie's looking for the boomerang. <laughs> Where's the boomerang? How come Ed's smart? And see these models and all this stuff. And. It's telling him what happened about his cousin sending him all this cool stuff from England, and these these books, and these comics, and he even shows, you know, some Double D and Double D's books are fascinating. And he's actually showing him shows him the um like one of the animals. And uh, you know all that stuff going on. And even Eddie's impressed. So they decide to, you know, since they've got nothing else to do, they'll go out and play Doctor Who. And Ed loves the idea. So he immediately starts dressing Ed, starts dressing, he dresses up Eddie and Little D as companions. Uh, Tegan? Not Tegan, um, I forget, I'm not sure what the doctor's name is. Let's see here. Okay, Tegan, Tegan, he dresses them up as a couple of the doctor's companions, your choice. And they go out and play and have, you know, have a one just kind of relax and enjoy each other's company. And then suddenly, things that are supposed to be fictional start happening. Daleks and Cybermen start attacking for real. The call is actually in danger, so it's up to Ed and Eddie trying to stop them using Ed's newly acquired knowledge of Doctor Who. Can the Eds save the call, Zach, with the knowledge of a newly minted Whovian? Find out. Well, let me know what you guys think, and let me know if you guys would like to let like me continue this idea or not. See you next time. Sayonara.